Hello dear students, I am back again with uh, Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction part 2. We studied in the previous episode how methyl benzene that is toluene or ethyl benzene are formed from benzene. So from there we proceed further. I am writing toluene that is methyl benzene and I am performing Friedel Kraft alkylation reaction with CH3Cl that is methyl chloride. The reaction is Friedel-Craft alkylation. So now, if you, uh, as you have already uh, gone through the previous episode, you are well aware of that the catalyst required will be anhydrous AlCl3. Correct? So this is how you know the reaction process. Now what happens? The important thing that we are again here to discuss is regarding the three positions that is ortho, meta and para which we have repeatedly discussed in nitration, sulfonation, halogenation reactions in the previous episode. Still, I'll repeat it for you. We have got three ortho, meta and para positions. Here, this methyl group is an electron donating group and as a result, it will have the tendency to guide the incoming group whatever the incoming group is it will be directed by this methyl group and as it is an op that is ortho para directing group it will direct the incoming group on two positions ortho you know it is adjacent position and para it is you know opposite position now here as we are on with methyl chloride and the reaction is friedel graph we will take two moles of methyl chloride and proceed the reaction with toluene. The overall temperature maintained will be 111 degrees Celsius. That is if you are studying the same in Kelvin, you can just add 273 to it and that becomes 384 Kelvin. So you can remember it either way. Okay. So now as toluene undergoes alkylation, methyl group is an OP directing group. The incoming group will be methyl just we discussed in the last episode. And as a result, this methyl, which is an electrophile, that is what I'm talking about, will be directed to ortho and para position. So for that, I'll write for you. This is toluene. I'll write one more molecule of toluene. That is in the form of compound. So this is your toluene. Right now, I'm writing for you. This is also toluene. Now, the methyl group gets directed according to this existing methyl group, which is an OP directing group. So one methyl group will get directed to ortho and other will get directed to the para position. So now you can see these are two methyl groups. Where they are? They are on the first and the second position. So it is one and two. They are two. So di, what are they? Methyl and they are located on benzene. So the name of the compound will go somewhat this way. One, two, dimethyl benzene. This can be also considered as your IUPAC name and general name is O. O means ortho and common name for the compound is given as xylene. So it is also known as O xylene. Similarly over there the position is 1 and 4. So I will write 1 and 4. It is about 2 groups methyl 2 groups. So it is di. 2 groups are methyl and they are located on benzene so the name of the compound is 14 dimethyl benzene the position is para you can see they are oppositely located and common name of the compound is given as xylene so it is known as o xylene and p xylene that is what is formed as the reaction of uh, toluene is carried out now very more important point i want to discuss especially for toluene that I will discuss when I take alkylation or Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction of toluene that is methyl benzene. Right now we are discussing the electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene. 
Then in later episodes, we will also take electrophilic substitution reactions of toluene. This is that compound, right? So we'll discuss one more important, uh, you can say an uh, offbeat type of reaction, an exceptional reaction in that later on episode, right? Okay, so right now we are halting over here. Moreover, if the same toluene undergoes reaction, instead of methyl benzene suppose if i react this toluene with some other reagent not with anhydrous cl 3 mind you that is what i am talking about fine then the product will not be the same and that is what i am talking about i'll discuss in next or other episode okay now instead of toluene let us take Ethyl benzene. Now this ethyl benzene we have prepared in the last episode. I want to react it further with some other reagent. Let us say zinc oxide. This reagent has tendency to pull away hydrogen of the alkyl group which is present on benzene zinc oxide and obviously you have to heat the reaction mixture at a very 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 high temperature as you do so what happens interestingly one edge from this methyl group and one edge from this ch2 right one edge from ch3 one edge from ch2 combines together to form h2 and as it dehydrates the compound, sorry, dehydrogenates the compound, it's a dehydrogenation reaction, hydrogen molecule is removed. The oxygen provided by this reagent combines with H2 and that forms a byproduct water. Okay, so this reagent remains as it is. So I'll write it or consider it as a catalyst. And you can see over here 1H and 1H got eliminated from ethyl benzene. So I will give the final product and that is on benzene I will have C bond C. It was already bonded. Fine. Now out of 2H only 1H is left. So I will write 1H for you over here. And for, from CH3 1H is eliminated. So 2H atoms are left. So I will write 2H atoms for you over here. But what has happened? 1H and 1H got eliminated. So, one one electron from both the carbon will combine together and that will form a double bond that is unsaturation takes place. Okay. On benzene, you have a group CH double bond CH2. You have a group CH double bond CH2. This group, this much part of the group I am talking about is known as the vinyl group. V-I-N-Y-L. Vinyl group. And that group is bonded to benzene so name of the compound can be given as vinyl benzene and the common name of this compound is known as styrene s-t-y-r-e-n-e which is the email styrene1411 at gmail.com of mine fine so this is the compound i have just created over there in the form of email so this is commonly known as styrene and the compound is known as vinyl because vinyl is the group vinyl is a group like alkyl in the form of methyl ethyl if there is unsaturation we name it as vinyl so it is vinyl benzene so this is how you can generate different compounds by different different reactions further so toluene undergoes friedel craft alkylation to give you ortho and para xylene but if you take ethyl benzene and if you do not react further with this part, but you take some other catalyst, some other reagent and heat at very, very, very high temperature, the compound obtained will be vinyl benzene. So this is how alkylation, Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction can be understood completely in our two episodes. The first episodes we pre uh, prepared toluene. In this episode, we completed the reaction, right? For further reaction, I said earlier, I'll take one more episode later on when we study alkylation reactions of toluene, electrophilic substitution reactions of toluene, not benzene, toluene. There we will talk about, right? See you then up to uh, the date when you are prepared thoroughly and we will proceed further with 
new topic in the next episode i'll take uh, friedel craft acylation reaction instead of alkylation we will have acylation in the next immediate episode right wish you all the very best prepare it soon take care and secondly if you have any doubt regarding this reaction you can have a question in the video itself in the comment section or you can get on with my email address styrene1411 at gmail.com is it clear okay take care bye